Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today, this one is going to be a little bit different. It is not actually going to cover uh, in-game gameplay anything. It's going to be about mods, uh, how to install them, and more specifically, how to have different mod sets and manage them easily. Now, I'm going to try to make this as quick and on point as possible. So, first of all, I want to mention that there are some kind of third party like programs or whatever that people have come up with that allow you to manage different mod sets uh, pretty nicely and some of those are really good so if you want to head that direction um, feel free to this is not what that's about this is kind of something um, you can do easily yourself without having to use any other program so first of all how do you get mods well once you're in the game um, probably the easiest way uh, for most of you, it's going to be going to mods and install mods, and this will link you into the mod portal. I'm not going to do it because there's actually quite a delay, uh, at least for me, um, from when I hit this to where we actually get to browse mods. Um, but when you do this, it'll give you a whole list of mods. You can search them, you know, you download them, and the game will directly download them into the correct folder. And this is why it's going to be easier um, probably for most of you. So that's how you do that, and obviously you can go in here and enable disable them. Uh, however, the other method is to just go directly to the mod portal site in a browser and download them there. So we're going to exit the game here because the rest of this is going to be out of game information. So um, the other option is to go to mods.factorio.com, which is what the in-game thing ties into, right? And you can download the mods here. Um, you know, you can search them however you want. You can organize, and uh, you can either download directly or if you want to see more info you can just click on it go through um, download you can pick a specific version or download it and it will download as a zip file which will be probably in your downloads wherever your stuff downloads and then you literally just copy and paste or drag and drop the zip file into your factorio mod folder you don't need to unzip it unless you need to edit the mod itself um, it's very easy so then the next thing is where do you find your mods well there's two possible places. If you are on the Steam version or you use the installer, the Factorio installer, um, Thera it should be, um, it, unless you changed it or you have your computer set up really weird, it should be in your app data roaming folder. Now a very easy way to get to this is just go into your search uh, for whatever version of Windows you're using. It may be a little different. Go into your search and type in percent app data percent and hit your folder and this will bring you directly into your roaming folder right and you can see we have a factorio folder and for me i didn't use the factorio installer but i do have the steam version um, this is what this is this, this ties into the steam version if we go into here you have mods um, so this is where you will find it for the steam version or installer version and then you would just go into your mods folder drag and drop the zip you're good to go um, you can see I have different sets here, and this is what we're going to cover next. The other option, and personally this is what I prefer, is the standalone version um, you can download from the website. Now, a very quick note, if you did get this from Steam, um, you should also be able to go to the website and get the standalone version. Um, they allow you to do both, or vice versa. Um, but the standalone version gives you a zip file, which you can then just unzip wherever you want. And I like that because I can put it wherever I want. And stuff without having to have folders being messed up or specific directories I just unzip it and I'm good to go so here I have um, Factorio and if we go in here it's, it's same thing mods data all that so this is how I like to manage different mod sets now some people prefer different instances of the game itself so some people I know have you know two three four five ten different installs of Factorio or different um, standalone versions with different sets of mods because they like to be able to just go in and fire it up, right? Um, however, I find that kind of annoying. It takes up disk space, um, extra disk, disk space really, and uh, I, I personally like this. So if you want different mod sets without having to like toggle them on and off and an install and uninstall different ones, this is what I find to be the best method is renaming your folders so factorio right when it goes when it launches it's if it when it looks for mods it's only going to look for mods in a folder called mods anything else it's going to ignore and that's why this works right 
because I have one called mods, so this is the folder it's gonna look in. Even though I have like six other mod sets here, I renamed them so it's called mods and then something else, so it's just gonna ignore those. Uh, so this is a very easy way if you would like to have different mod sets, say you want a Bob's mod, say you want a cheat mode, like kind of play around thing, maybe you want a SpaceX one, and then you want a vanilla one. Um, so you can see here, I even have a vanilla one. And all you have to do is just rename it. So this one is actually the workshop one I do to you to do workshops. All you need to do is just go in, rename it. You don't have to use a naming scheme I do. You can name it whatever you want, just so it's something different than just mods. Um, so I just named this workshop. Now, if I were to launch the game as is, right, it would just create a new mod folder that's empty. It would just be vanilla, right? And um, so if you want a new mods folder to mess around with, you could do that, or you can simply just go in and create a new folder and just call it mods. Um, but then all I have to do, so if I'm going to say play 015 simulation right now, all I have to do is just go in, rename it, I'm good to go. I can launch the game. It's going to launch the game with all of these mods. Uh, just to demonstrate here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to launch the game here, and it's going to load with that set of mods because that's uh, what happens to be the mods folder at the time that the game's looking for it, right? And there you go. Um, this is all of our mods for 015 simulation. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you, how to grab mods, um, how to install mods, and where to find your mod folder if you didn't know. And uh, I had been asked several times how to uh, the best way to manage different mod sets, so I figured I would show the way I do it, which I just find to be the easiest. And uh, you can have as many of these as you want. It takes a lot less uh, hard drive space than to have you know, 10 different installs of Factorio. Um, to me, it's easier to manage and takes, what, like three seconds just to rename the folder. Um, it's very easy and then again you just drag and drop your stuff i have different sets of mods so on and so forth so there you go guys i hope this was helpful i know a lot of you probably don't need this um so sorry it wasn't a gameplay tutorial but next one probably will be i figured this was something good to cover though anyway if you did enjoy uh feel free to leave a like i would much appreciate that and any thoughts or feedback or suggestions for uh, future tutorials i'd love to hear down in the comments but until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care